Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Planet Zoo Franchise Mode. Uh, in the last episode we uh, finished off, uh, near enough finished off, we've got a little bit of work to do that we'll probably do on a live stream, but near enough finished off uh, Lima Exhibit. I, uh, I often forget about these, um, our, uh, our, our, what do they call them, shut up and stop feeding animal signs. And I put those down and it seems to have solved the problem, all the protesters have gone away and most of the animals now have a decent uh, stress stat as well. So uh, that was definitely the issue. Thank you very much to everyone who pointed out that I needed to use those. Um, before we move on, I just want to let you know that um, Planet Zoo is returning to the channel this week, uh, starting off with this franchise mode. I've also got a Nuna Kanata uh, nearly ready to go and also a singular um, Habitat Speed Build as well for Japanese macaques that will come out uh, later this week as well. Thanks for bearing with me on that one, folks. I know a lot of you are here for Planet Zoo uh, and I appreciate that um, you know the, the, it's the the only thing you really watch here and that's fine uh, always check out the other stuff though i really uh really would recommend it I, I you know all the games we play have got a sort of creative flair or we try and give them a creative flair if we can and um you know sometimes it's it's good to play other games and get a bit of a uh, bit of a break from uh, the main title but i do appreciate that like I say, a lot of you, uh, we're here for it. So, uh, so yeah, thanks for bearing with me that one. The main reason I stopped playing it is I, I had the flu over Christmas and it kind of wiped me out a little bit uh, for a few weeks. And then uh, and also just I completely lost all sort of creative, a major creative block off the back of it, uh, which is uh, which is now pretty much over. Like I say, I've been building back in the game and enjoying myself. So, uh, yeah, videos, Planet Zoo videos will be coming back this week. Now, unfortunately... Uh, there's been a bit of an addition over here, <laughs> maybe a little bit out of practice. I actually did a whole episode of Franchise Mode and then realised that I wasn't actually recording the screen, so I've just got half an hour audio of me talking to myself. Um, basically, we've started working on an Indian rhino uh, habitat. It was going to be a two-parter, so this is technically part two, even though you didn't see part one. Uh, basically, we cleared out the space. I wanted to get a bridge in here. thought that'd be a, a fun little thing. And they're just a nice open savannah-style space uh, for the Indian, although they're not really from the savannah but you know the indian rhinos here plenty of room nice sort of water down one end uh, and then the plan uh, was for this episode to do like a, a shelter over here uh, for the second half and uh, all this fencing here is temporary I didn't really know what to do uh, with that but also we need to kind of fence in the uh, the, the wall here we've uh, we've got a, a bit of a poor wall at the moment that needs some concrete so that's what we're going to start doing let's um let's set that up so concrete, oh no, it's not called concrete, is it? it's called plaster. It's the plaster pieces we want. Here we go, these things here. Really, uh, really neat for doing this kind of stuff with them. So we're gonna start like that. Now the only big problem is they don't stick under the pass anymore. You used to be able to get an item there, basically, just, just under the path. Uh, fortunately, it doesn't seem to be uh, possible anymore. So we're going to have to look at doing something like this and maybe even bring that out a little just to really make sure that we're off it. There we go. And then we'll take you like that. There we are. Let's see. Oh, that's, that's, uh, yeah, that's that's okay. So we need to put those all in a, in a building. Like that. And... Just gonna take those down. I think I think I'm gonna do the fence separate because chances are it won't line up perfectly with these anyway. Uh, like for here, for instance, we're gonna start turning that one in already. Whereas the fence will follow uh, the path a little bit more. Actually, I've kind of already messed that up there, haven't I? Um, with that one. So let's let's fix that. There we go. I'm not gonna worry too much about getting these perfect because, quite frankly, it would just take forever. What I will do though is now we know where that's going up to, we can uh, start to come out with some of these rocks and fill these in better. Um, uh, we're going to need a little piece there, aren't we? Let's have a look what we've got. Temperate rock, something like that, that we can sink in Oops. to kind of fill in that gap to the path there. Because uh, I mean, it would it, the the path would be concreted up to the rocks there, really, wouldn't it? So that makes the most sense. Let's do something like that. Uh, da, da, da. There we go. And again, the fence the fence will run all the way along there as well. But the main thing here is taking this um, and kind of I, I want it to 
be straight where it would be cost effective for it to be straight if that makes sense but we do want to make sure that we've got uh, you know it's it sort of follows the the contours a little not too worried about it following the path perfectly like I say it just this isn't really the series for that sort of level of attention to detail unfortunately um, but like I say, talking of which, uh, new Nicolata will return this week. We've uh, we've done some fun stuff in there. Actually, I'm excited to show you that. Um, and like I say, these uh, uh, Japanese macaques are getting a uh, are getting a hot spring this week as well, which is going to be fun. The main reason I wanted to do macaques is I've actually I don't know if you've realised this, but I've been working through all the animals that we had in the career mode of the game where I built some really quite horrific <laughs> uh, setups for them. And I want, I want, I want to kind of do right by them, so, uh, so that's the, that's the idea with that. So we had, uh, we had macaques and snow leopards, and I did a, did a pretty uh, good snow leopard one, or if I do say so myself. And uh, now I want to sort of make it so the macaques have got a nice spot too. So put this all here. Let's have a look. How's this looking from up above? Yeah, that's okay. Uh, right, rather than uh, just let you watch this, which is probably a little dull. Uh, I'll come back once it's done. Okay, there we go. That's the uh, the retaining wall for that one side. Um, I'm not too sure what this is going to look like until the building's in, so I'm not going to carry it around just yet. Uh, the only thing we do need to do is, for some reason, we've got a uh, we've got a bit of a, a grassy issue over here. So we need to knock the size down, that knock the intensity up, and remove said grass. Realizing that's all part of the uh, the habitat as well. So just make sure that the rhinos are still happy with their terrain. Um, yes, okay, they are. Right then, as always, our animals are named after patrons. So, Anna Harmon, you are now a female rhino. Why haven't you changed your name? Anna Harmon, thank you. And our male is called Simon Stewart. There we go. Thank you both for your support. Uh, you are now a couple of rhinos in the zoo. How fun is that for you? Uh, so yeah, this half is pretty much done. I think we need some um, something they can play with. Uh, so let's have a look here then, rhino. Uh, what have we got? Something fun. I was hoping. Yeah, I was hoping there was. There's like a big rolly wood thing that you can get for elephants. I don't even even if we've got it. I can't imagine we have got it open because we haven't got elephants either. Like a big rolly wood thing. Hopefully we'll get it with the rhinos, but. I was hoping for that over here. So instead, let's do. Uh, oh, there was a there's a mud bath as well that I was kind of hoping we got, but no, ne neither of those available. So instead, we'll put down a, a plant screen and a, a rubbing pillar. I think over here, give them something to do. That should uh, make their fun enrichment high. So food enrichment. There's a hanging grazing feeder. Let's have one of those over here by the water. And we'll also have a large roller barrel over on this side. Because eventually, um, this area will be viewable by public. At the moment, it isn't. It uh, cuts off at the bridge here. But we will most likely extend that way. At least this way, especially. So, yeah, no reason why that wouldn't be done. Uh, okay, so they should they should be pretty happy now. They've got good, good everything, really. Um, yeah, all that's okay. Enrichment's good. Um... Yeah, that, yeah, okay. Yeah, happy with all of that. So they should be happy. Guests should be happy. Talking of guests, we always forget, but let's put some money, money, money in. Because, you know, I mean, we're doing okay for cash, but, you know, it could always have a bit of a bump up, right? So there's a few spots here where the uh, where the, the railing doesn't quite meet the, uh, the path that are perfect for these things. So we'll get a few of those in. There we go, and I'll probably do the fence at a later date. I think we've uh, we need to move on to something a bit more interesting today, which is going to be uh, some sort of structure here. I want to do I want to do a rotating, uh, you know, not a dome, but some sort of uh, rotated structure. So let's get into construction, and we'll just base it off a wall. So uh, let's have a look. Wall pieces. Let's get rid of the wood plaster there. Thinking that really light wood. We we don't get to use it much, but I think here it'll actually look pretty dope. So let's go for. Um, let's get a rough idea of size. Okay, let's go for that. But then let's bring it up here so we can 
see what we're doing with it. So that's about right for size. Maybe we'll go a little bigger. I don't actually believe they need hard structure, to be honest, but uh, I think we're going to give it to them. Uh, X, go and give it to you. Anyway, so column. Um, I want to do... Maybe it doesn't class as a column. Do we have... Oh, I don't know. See, we've got African stuff. It's, it's Indian, isn't it? These are Indian... Uh, in Indian rhinos. Uh, let's try that in a more acceptable color palette. Something like that. There we go. That look good. So, not too sure what I want to do with this. Really, I suppose I, I want to keep it very generic. This is hundred percent, you know, generic zoo here. So, I want to kind of keep it all pretty generic. I'm thinking rather than just glass windows, we have something like, I mean, it's difficult because you don't, you don't want them to look like bars, <laughs> but I'm thinking something like this with, uh, with those painted ones in the middle of a lighter, of a lighter brown, um, there would actually look pretty fun, but they do look a little bit like bars. So how about we we knock those in like that? Or something, just, just enough variation to make it not look like a bar. Uh, and then do we have like a little bit of Indian, like a little bit of detail or something we could have on there, like a little little wooden sculpture or something? Let's have a look at it. Most of the Indian stuff is, is uh, is papers right like posters and stuff yeah what about what about if we search for rhino maybe there's a cool rhino head or something okay so there's oh, there's this one that's actually sweet that is sweet we need to get that in there somewhere what else have we got we've got a rhino oh, so that's pretty cool as well so maybe like every other one could have one of those in it yeah okay okay I, i'm digging that um so let's let's carry on with this then so that's gonna have to come up to there right now how tall are these little dudes here they are right okay so i think they are a little off that's okay we can just sort that if we get them in the middle of those and i think to be honest with you i think all of those are a little off Oh, it's much of a muchness, isn't it? Okay, so then above this one, we'll have uh, we'll, we'll go for a bit of glass. Let's, let's find a little bit of glass. Um, okay, like just the plain this stuff. Here we go. Um, let's get the height right. Okay, I'm going to put it there, and then we'll just bring that down a little. There we go, because you want to get that edge of the glass in there. Yeah, there we go. And then this can go there. Okay, height-wise, height I, I feel like that's fine. Um, the only thing I'll do is bring one of these up to here. Just, just break that glass a little there. Go. Uh, does that need one of those there as well? Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's our wall. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate you. And we're going to put you there. Here we go. All right, now ceiling, I, I really not sure with the ceiling, I suppose. Let's um, let's find the middle point. So there's eight of these, so that's, that's the middle spot there. So if we go to our mud pillar, which is the only pillar we have on in the game that's on a grid, and we knock that down to two meters, so that there, boom, that's our central point. That, that's, that's what we're working towards. So I'll duplicate you up. Um, 
just so we can figure out the height. Okay. And what I think I'd like to do, oh, I'm trying to think what's the best way of doing this. I, I think I'd like something that sort of comes up. Um, let's go to our, let's go to our pillars. Uh, I'll get rid of the wind mud. There we go. I'm thinking, where's those thick ones that we've just been using? I'm thinking these, right? So bear with me now, because this is probably going to take me a little while to figure out. I'm thinking these, oops, not that way, is what we're going to start with. And what I want to do is get the length right. Okay, so we're talking that many, aren't we? But then we're also coming to the point here in the middle. So if we do something like this. No, it doesn't have to be exact in the middle because we, we can have like a, a topper, so to speak. But if we come away from there. Okay, bring that up. Now, it's really nice to be back in here and, and feeling creative again. I, I'll be honest with you, it's the worst thing for a for a creative YouTuber. Like myself, well, I sort of brand myself as a creative YouTuber. You know, we, we sort of pay a little bit of attention to detail compared to some. Um, it's There's nothing worse than creative block, especially when you've got bills to pay, especially in January, <laughs> which is, um, you know, ad revenue is terrible anyway. <laughs> Uh, luckily, December and November was pretty good, and luckily we, we've picked up some new patrons, and they really help with bills and stuff, so I do really appreciate it, but yeah, God, January has not been a great, not been a great month at all. Uh, okay, so let's spin you around, bring you into the same sort of spot, which is going to be there, okay, and then we'll delete you. So... Let's bring you... They probably can't bring you too far down, because you... Our, uh, our little friends aren't going to be able to get in, are they? So we might have to change this a little. Do even even more spiky, but that's cool. That's cool. Let's do that then. There we go. That looks that looks like it should work. Okay. Then we'll get rid of you. There we go. All right. There we should now be able to bring this down. Still, still too high, aren't we? Well, we can edit it a little. I don't. I don't really want to go much lower than that on on the uh, on the beam pieces there. Okay, so we'll stay there. So let's um, let's take you up to meet this thing. Oof! I mean, it's high, isn't it? Um, okay, and then we'll get rid of that and we'll put a bigger one in. Let's find you. Uh, oh, that, I mean, pretty much fits dead on, right? Okay. All right, I can I can cope with that. So we need to get rid of that. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's just get rid of those and we'll just duplicate those three over. Okay, right, that's fine. All right, now we're going to take this... And we're going to turn it so it meets that corner there. Yep. Okay. And then we're going to take all of them again. We're going to duplicate them. We're going to put them to about there. We're going to take it down a notch. We're going to put it in place and we're going to recolor it bit darker good and then we're gonna copy that a few times again this is a bit of a lazy method to be honest compared to like doing individual tiles or whatever but it's it gets results pretty quick and I think it looks pretty good so if we do something like that okay now we should be able to take all of this building deselect those we should be able to duplicate it on the grid, let's knock the grid down to there. Um, okay, and then we should be able to come out of the building 
let's just go back in because we don't need any of this now. There we go. We should be able to come out of the building now and see if it all lines up. So here's the moment of truth. Are the only, I mean, this would be. Well, I suppose it's not. It's not. There's gaps in it, isn't there? I was going to say this would just be a big bowl of water <laughs> if it rained, but I, that's okay. <laughs> there we go. Bring that round, and that should look pretty crazy. Uh, that's that's all right, you know. Now the only thing I have noticed is that the walls don't line up. Um, so we're going to need a pillar or something in in those. But again, that's that's pretty pretty rectifiable. Now we have one to work with. So let's come to columns. Oh, dog, you stink! My Jesus Christ, my thirteen-year-old puppy has just farted in it. <laughs> Absolutely honks. Woo wee! At least I can blame you, blame them on you there, though, Indy. That's, that's good news. Let's turn this off. There we go. Right, so what we need to do is find the, the middle there, so to speak. There we go. Um, get the colour more in line with what we're used to. Do we have that darker one available? No, that, there we go. That's nice. Okay, bring that up to there. Take it in. Okay, and then we'll go for this lighter wood here bring it out and that's oh look at that it lines up like a glove like a glove and then uh, we got one one little bit that we can just do a little bit more detail there we go that looks interesting doesn't it just to just to change it up a little what i might do is bring that out there there we go okay so you you and you i'm gonna copy around uh, there, yeah. Take you there. Take you right across. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Do you slide into place? Of course you don't, because that would be far too useful, wouldn't you? Wouldn't it, even? So, let's put you there. Okay. And then hopefully... Okay, that seemed to work. We'll just copy them all around. Yeah, okay, okay. This is looking all right. And uh, this is looking all right. Okay. Pretty crazy build, but I'm quite happy with how it's come out. Now, the, uh, the only thing I will say is I don't, I'm not quite finished with the roof. I think... All of these, if these were all different height, like different lengths, I think that'd be really good. So, it, like, for instance, if we came into this one and just pulled that right out of there, you know, and then came to here and just pulled it out of there. And same with that one. Yeah. And then... Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, there we go. I think that's turned out really quite great. I think it looks different. It looks interesting. Uh, the only thing I did was it, the frame rate was crawling. So I thought, you know what? Let's clear the middle out. And I was going to just put like a flat roof in. I thought, no, do you know what? Let's keep it open. Let's have it an open roof. So there is a sheltered area. But for the most part, it is an open roof. Again, this isn't really practical. This isn't really the idea with the franchise mode. It's more about just making cool looking things. Um, but one thing I will say that we probably do need... Um, is uh, some sort of pillar system in here because otherwise it's going to be uh, not particularly well uh, what's the word supported I suppose so let's um, let's go into here let's get a decent color on it and turn you up there we go so what we're going to do is it, I don't actually want it there but for now that's where it can go and then we'll put some Oh, I thought the limestone one was thicker than that. There's one of them that's slightly thicker. There we go, concrete. Okay. Um, so I'll put you in the middle there, roughly. Let's drop you down to there. Are we going to say that's okay? Yeah. Yeah, it's close enough. Okay. So I'm going to take you. Swing you over here. And put another couple of you in, eh? There we go. 
and then four should be fine. What I actually want to do is take them just off there so they're more on the joint where they would where they would be. Okay, cool. Uh, and that lines that up nicely because we need a doorway. So let's open this up. Uh, yeah, all of you. Oh, you can clear out. There we go. Uh, whoever you're attached to. And do you know what? I'm going to take... Oh, what was that? I was got rid of then. I didn't mean to. It's that I want to take out. And then, let's just to fill that gap, let's get that awesome rhino head. Why not? I know it's probably a bit big. It's probably a bit gaudy. But my word, does it look cool? So we can totally, I think make it work there-ish that's uh that's where that's gonna go all right okay so what are we gonna do about this thing because we need to try and figure that out so let's bring the terrain down a little um here because this all needs to really be on the same sort of level if this is where the ground's gonna go we'll sort the like i say the fence is very much uh a, a temporary thing here because this is going to act as the fence for a lot of it. Is that everything we've got selected there? Let's click move. Oh my goodness. Look at this coming in here. Awesome. Um, let's get it roughly where we want it and then we can be a little bit more delicate. Okay. Thank you down to there. How's that look all the way around? All good. Oh, yeah, look at that. I mean, we're going to have to probably shuffle our uh, planting around a little because you don't want to cover up that awesome roof, do you, really? But otherwise, let's cap you up over to here. There we go. And you should really take all your, all your little bits with you. There you are. Okay. So we can see that awesome roof. Yeah, that looks great there, I think. I think that's, uh, I'm really quite happy with that. Um, so the only thing we need to do is make some path... Uh, sorry, make some terrain paints. There we go. <laughs> uh, this needs to be soil in here, really. There wouldn't be there wouldn't be grass. And I think also it would probably sort of make its way out of here a little as well. Like that. We've actually, we actually started doing a heavy soil here as a as a bit of a run in so we'll we'll carry that on as well there we go and i hope that doesn't affect the terrain too much let's have a look no they're all good with that it's going to play look they like i say didn't actually say they needed hard shelter but i'm just going to pause the game make sure it's still happy with everything it's going to recalculate the ground yeah that's all fine as well look at that okay cool i'm happy with that do you know what i sound really pleased with myself it's I, honestly the amount of times over the last month I have opened Planet Zoo and stared, stared at either this park, Nuna Kanata, an empty green space. The amount of times I've just stared at them and desperately tried to get some sort of inspiration. And 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 people I've mentioned it to have given me loads of credit. You know, I'll you know watch other stuff and you know do this. And I'm like, yeah, I'm doing it all. I'm watching all the videos that are out there. You know, but. Yeah, sometimes you just get that nasty block, unfortunately. And things like Transport Fever 2 and Frostpunk have done incredibly uh, well to fill that gap. Um, really recommend you go out and try them out if it, if it's, it seems like it's your sort of thing, because I've had a lot of fun with them. But uh, yeah, there's nothing nothing beats coming back in and building something that you're happy with in uh, in your big game, you know? There we go. Right, it needs a little bit of work then. Uh, we still need to figure out the edge in here, getting the staff in and stuff, but I'm going to leave it there. Uh, happy with that. Got the thumbnail. <laughs> um, yeah, awesome. Right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Till the next one, be good.